What is up guys? Welcome to my new gym. Well, technically it's not my gym. I'm gonna start coming here. If you guys been following Rim for a while, we used to do workouts up here. My buddy Caleb Cottrell owns this gym. It is a CrossFit gym. Now, we're not gonna be doing CrossFit workouts, but as you can see, I have a key so we get the place for ourselves. So we can come here and film, do some workouts. We're not surrounded by a bunch of people and noise and we're just getting people's way. So came up here, we're gonna work out in. Of course I'm gonna show you. So you guys ready to get started? And as always, I'm the man to do it for you. Let's go. All right, guys, let me train some legs today. I figured, hey, we're halfway through the year. It's time to train some legs for the second one in of the year. Just kidding, don't roast me. Um, start with some squats, kind of warm up here. Go into Sue, go and do some lunges, some deadlifts, some other stuff. So I'm gonna run it all down for you guys. Sets, reps, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. Let's go. Morning, I'm gonna have a sleep without a shirt on. I've been filming videos without a shirt on. That was my first one, but you know what I mean? I'm gonna try to be more comfortable with my the biggest thing when it comes to legs, especially for me, it doesn't take a it doesn't take a workout that has 15 different exercises on it to really get after it. I can do four or five things and be lit up, not be able to sit to shit for like four or five days. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna keep the rest time super short. I'm gonna keep the reps 12 to 15, and I'll be in and out of here in 30 minutes. No problem, killer workout. You don't have to be in here for one and a half, two hours anymore. That's just not how it works. You can be in and out of a solid workout with cardio in an hour. So to think that you don't have time to work out when you could just carve out an hour of your Netflix time, then you can get it in. It's that simple, people. Quit making excuses, it's all up here. Before any of you Nazis in the comment section decide to call me out, these are 45s and this is a 45 for some reason. This one's just a little bit smaller. So before you freak out and smack your wife and beat your kids because you think I'm lying, 45s, they're just different sizes. Don't you lie to them, bro. You bought these on bradcastleberry.com. Man, that fucker. Yeah, they're hollow. Yeah. Hollow, don't let them fool you. You hear that? Hollow. <laughs> All right, guys. Third set, 315. I'm gonna be going for probably eight to 10. Um, I haven't gone heavy on squats in a while. So today I'm gonna kind of go up, hopefully maybe get up into the low 400s, kind of see what I can do. So I know I said I was doing 12 to 15 everything, but this third set, I'm gonna drop it down, try to raise the weight back up. I usually don't squat very often, honestly because I fucking hate it, if I'm being honest. Um, like my, right now, my back is lit up. Maybe because I did back yesterday, it wasn't the smartest choice, but 315, eight to 10 to 12, we'll see. Fitness his channel. But hi, right, he's getting more weight for this. Let me be real with you guys. This dude has not trained legs since December. He still somehow comes in and reps this. That's wild. This guy's a freak. It's about 315. I could maybe do this like, I don't know, three times and then break my back on the fourth attempt. This dude never trains legs. I train him every week. This dude never trains legs because he never does this. Monster. If you guys need coaching advice, that, that's your man. Monster. Two leg days a year, reps it like cake. Was someone just filming? That's weird, I don't know. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a while since I've really, really done legs. I've done some 
minor leg workouts, but actually heavy squats. It's been a minute. I don't even know if I can do 405, but we're gonna see. My back is lit up right now, I'm hurting, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go for one just because I wanna see where I'm at. I wanna see for how long it's been, I wanna see what I can do here. So let's go. Uh, all right, boy. I'm gonna drop her here. Yes, sir. Oh. Woo. Woo. Smooth as butter, my man. I don't know, smooth. That's more like a Rocky River ice cream. <laughs> hey, bro, I can't do that. Damn. Props, my dude. That was ugly, but we got her. We got her. Hey, you don't know unless you try. That's I'd rather right. try and fail than never try at all. Because if you don't try, that's a loss regardless. Right? We out here trying. We're doing something today. So. Have, you, have you mentioned that shirt yet? You know, we're going to dress this. <laughs> I've been getting comments. One guy commented on our last video asking, are you, uh, are you back on Coke? Um, I can't attest from my younger days, but I'm not exactly a Coke user. He's not. And honestly, I'm just wearing the shirt just to- Trigger some people. Just to trigger y'all in the comment section. Yeah, hit that thumbs up button for the 400 squat and the shirt, baby, risque. Right. Shout out to Tasteless Gentlemen. I'm wearing, but they ain't paying me for it. Ooh. I like to give a big shout out to Carol Blue, cause I drink it, but they ain't paying me for it. Not yet. All right, we were messing around, just seeing what we could do here. He's like, wonder if I can squat this no-handed. Let's see, comment down below what you think. Can you do it no-handed or not? Full rep squat. Like I haven't already done it, just to make sure. <laughs> Shh. All right, let's see what we got, big dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the athleticism, call the me, balance. Call me Bradley Martin. <laughs> Two point. All right, squats are done. I'm already tired, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna do some lunges. I'm gonna do five sets down and back. I'm gonna try to. Let's go. Lunges are done, squats are done. I'm gonna do some straight leg deadlifts for the hannies. Four sets of 15. And then I got one more exercise after that. Let's go. Alright, let me go over and grab this up. Final set, I was doing some hammer curls. Took the weight up to 45. Now it's a dumbbell. Got a hammer right now, so you can put in 10. <coughs> All right, the last exercise. I'm gonna be doing dumbbell single leg squats on a bench. Now, that is one problem um, with kind of doing this at a CrossFit gym. We don't exactly have any leg extensions, leg curls, any of the machines like that, so we kind of have to work with what we got. So I'm gonna finish this up here, because honestly, I am walking like a baby deer. I am hurting right now. So four sets of 12 each leg, and then we're done. Let's get it. Guys, I am back at the house. I'm showered. I'm cleaned up. 
We're gonna wrap this video up because I'm gonna get to editing it. It is about 3.30 and all I've had was breakfast. So I came back, made some sandwiches, some low calorie bread, some turkey, some cheese, and I had me a protein shake. Um, this is a good little meal. It's quick and easy. I've just started doing this here recently, honestly, because Rim did it, so I tried it and I love it. It's just kind of convenient because I don't want to cook or meal prep or do any bullshit like that. I'll throw the macros and calories right there so you guys can check it out. Um, it's just simply some low calorie bread, some, it's not turkey, it's ham, and then some non-fat cheese and a little bit of fat-free Italian dressing. It is bomb. Like I said, my buddy Calum owns that CrossFit gym. Obviously we didn't go there and do CrossFit, but it was nice because it was empty. We had it to ourselves. We can film and talk and do what we want and not get in the way of other people. It's hard to do that at my current gym. So we're simply gonna throw him a couple things of pre-workout a month and he gave us the keys and says we can go up there anytime we want. Image win classes and all that good stuff. So it was a good time. Got a lot of cool content. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know Remington the guy that was in the video that's my business partner that's my best friend as you can see he is looking really good right now he is cutting um, just for reference he's sitting at about 170 pounds and as of this morning I was just over 250 you know I always bow I always say this is the worst part about bodybuilding because I do this every single time I decide to do a lean bulk I put on a lot of weight I'm strong I look big I feel big but I'm uncomfortable. You know, I'm uncomfortable when I sleep, none of my clothes fit. The best way for me to hang around just to be kind of just hanging out and be comfortable is about 2.30. For me to be like really kind of shredded down is about 2.20 or so. Whenever I'm shredded, I feel good with my shirt off, but I feel tiny at 2.30. I'm comfortable, but I'm not really big, but I'm not really shredded. And then at 250, I'm big, I look big, I feel big, but I feel sloppy. Um, I don't feel the best. So this is a constant struggle. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys go through this too? I always say that anybody that's really into fitness, you have body dysmorphia. You're forever small, you're forever um, not where you wanna be. It's a constant struggle. Me, I go up and down all the time, all over the place. I am never, I never find a weight and just hang out. I'm just like, okay, I'm good. I can just like chill here and do maintenance macros and just be done because I'm not. I get big, now I wanna be lean again. I get lean, I wanna be big again. It's a forever struggle and I'm sick of it, but I'm gonna keep doing it. So, I think I might bulk for another couple of weeks and then cut down. I don't know. Honestly, I just wing it. I see how I feel. I wait till I eventually get fed up and then I go the other way. So, I'll cut down and then want to be big again because you guys will tell me I'm small on here, so I'll have to get big again. So, Anyways, let me know what you thought of the video. As always, anchorfitness.com, meal and training plans, online coaching, anabolic coaching, phone consultations, whatever you guys want, get on there and check it out. Finalboshformers.com, Inc. 10, save 10%, also available on Amazon Prime. Check it out, get you something. Let me know if you guys have any questions, shoot me an email. If you have any really big questions, get on my website and shoot me a form submission in the contact tab. But that's gonna do it for me for today, guys. I love you, I appreciate you. I will see you at the next video. See you guys. Ugh, my legs hurt.